ready to read for you, and I have on a bright sweater. Oh, <laughs> you certainly do. I, I can't even see my color. It's like blinding. Blinding, but we're in the same color range, right? Yeah. And so welcome to our uh, virtual tarot living room. Welcome, family. It's March. Ava's going to read Aww. alongside of me a four-card spread for you, Taurus. And um, she's reorganizing the cards. And while she does, I'll tell you what we do here at Virtual Tarot every month. We do a four-card spread. First card representing the overall energy, tone, environment of the month for you, Taurus. Second card representing uh, the challenge for the month. Third card will represent the unexpected. And the fourth card is the outcome. So we're going to step it up. Jump right in. Here we go. Read your future. All right. First card. First card is Three of Wands. I love this card. This is a really good card. So you've invested your time, your energy, your efforts into a new possibility. Yes. And there you stand, kind of waiting. You kind of just kind of. Standing back, There's some well, pa you're, you're, patience involved, but also some um, anticipation. Yeah, anticipation for the outcome of all that you've invested in, all your hard work. All, all. Uh, this is a a merchant who has launched his ships with all his goods on it, and it's going out into the world to be delivered to market. Mm -hmm. And so all the um, potential. Things that could happen out at sea are, is what the merchant is thinking about. We see him from the back. In other words, everything is already in the, it has been done. It's all been, it's like the moment of completion where now mm -hmm. you're just about to receive re news. Receive news, receive the rewards. Mm -hmm. From all of that, but at the March is a stage from which you are steer, you have not arrived at port mm -hmm. yet. But here you are getting news of your status, mm -hmm. what's happened, mm -hmm. um, and will you get an offer? Will the energy and effort uh, reward you? Right, and and your leaning on one of the staffs and each one of these are, are about an idea and it, um, an inspiration and one of these ideas these inspirations has been sort of selected out mm -hmm. and you're leaning on it and so if there if this could be even literal so if you've sent out three different intentions yes but there's actually energy and effort it's not only pure intention. There's action Yeah, there's behind action it. behind it. So this is interesting because my son, who is a Taurus, is waiting for his college applications. It's to come back. To come back. That's right. And there was a lot of energy and effort put into that, and thought into, you know, where will I apply? How will I apply? Essays, videos, right. blah, 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 blah. Right, so, right. So however you would apply that, um, we are definitely in it's, this phase. Just this phase of waiting. And you can then use that as just a sort of a, a, a little metaphor or story that will mm -hmm. help to open up your particular situation. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Okay, uh -huh. we have the two of swords in the position of challenge. So, choice. Two Choice. Choices. The choice is to choose. Mm -hmm. The challenge is. The challenge is to choose. The challenge is to choose. And I also see this as the challenge is to not disrupt what's going on. Um, because if they're too conflicting, uh, you know, we had talked about this previous, previously for another sign, but if you're, if, uh, thought constructs, mm -hmm. if you're caught in between two different thought constructs, that could actually, maybe those are representations of two mindsets even, two, mindsets. two people, 
mm -hmm. uh, with different mindsets or two corporations or two or even within yourself mm -hmm. having two so you're sort of uh, competing ideas yeah yeah, that's your challenge. And it, to make that decision. Right. That goes along really well with this Oh, three. absolutely. So you're going to have to make a decision. Yes. But you're but it still... Also, but also, on a, and again, on a much more fundamental level, it's about discretion. Mm. That is, you have to... Like at the one, there is, you, you don't need to employ the intellect reason to make a selection, to make a choice. But here it is. It's the weighing up of two ideas to possibilities mm -hmm. to notions mm -hmm. and to sit quietly meditatively to look at them from a deeply logical analytical level mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay or it could be to move that could be your challenge too to move away from this um, sort of stasis mm -hmm. that's been created by trying to keep everything sort of status quo you know here we go again, the fool in the position. Isn't that uh, interesting? Gemini got that unexpected, the fool. Interesting. Well, that's a good card. You're going to be happy to see that card because that means you are about to embark upon a, a brand new adventure. Right. And it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun and you're not really worried about the outcome. You just, you're just seeking the adventure for its own sake. You just go. And you're unencumbered, and that's a good thing. Right. And also, the thing I really like about this card is that... <laughs> is that the Fool represents oh, the, the part of the Trinity, which would be the Holy Spirit. So this is like that first sort of sweet wind that comes through. It's it's like the breath of fresh air. This is pure spirit. It's a zero. So this is such a beautiful card. You start at zero. You start all yeah. over. And it's the energy of this card is so It's interesting sweet. because here at the three, all the work has been done and there's a waiting to see what the consequences of that work will bring. Mm -hmm. But there's a naivete, I guess, that goes along with this card. Because is, if you've been sort of feeling jaded and kind of like within a situation, you, you know, and sometimes we get to a certain level and we have to start over again in order to feel reinvigorated. And that's what this card is, starting over. But I think that... It's, a, it's in direct opposition to the, to the Two of Swords. So in other words, you free yourself mm -hmm. from that dilemma, that intellectual dilemma. And unexpectedly, make a choice. you make that choice and you do it rather impulsively. And you're freed. And you you're do freed. it rather impulsively. Yeah, that's true, because it's the zero. Mm -hmm. And then at the end, what do we have? Two kids fighting <laughs> in the back seat of the car. <laughs> so what that's what I always asking? call it. <laughs> Well, you're trying to work things out with other people and get on the same page, but that's hard to do because everybody has their own agenda. For you, perhaps, even. Mm -hmm. Everyone's got their own agenda for you, yep. and it may not be your agenda. That's right. And they're complicating things unnecessarily. Yes. So it's a five. Like, there's minor chaos sort of surrounding. Yes, a little bit. Because maybe the situation. your impulsiveness. Mm -hmm. Maybe because of this impulsive choice, mm -hmm. you've created a little bit of a, 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 a sort of turbulence. But the interesting thing here is this three. Okay, so we have a three. The Three of Wands and the Five of Wands. Yeah. So when the news comes back, right. <laughs> you kind of figure out, like, hey, what's my return here? Right. Where am I going to go? There's a little chaos that surrounds that. There's a little bit of, hey, how are we going to do that? Or why are we going to do that? Or, go here, or go there, yeah. do that, do mm -hmm. this. No, it would be better. And we, we want this group to all be in concert. Mm-hmm. But it, it, they're not necessarily deliberately trying to hurt one another. No, 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 no. They just have a different idea. It's like getting along. Everybody right. getting along. That's right. You know, or it, 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 can, it reminds me of like a knot, too. Like trying to unravel a knot, you know? Right. So Lack of teamwork. Wherever you are in your situation, maybe you have to unravel the situation in order to like move forward. Mm -hmm. 
get everybody on the same page, get all the projects on, yeah. you know, working together so that you can take this leap of faith. Yes, yes. You yes. know, so good on you. I love it. It's a good reading. It is. Actually, it is good. It's a very good reading. So get the fifth card, Major Arcana, Higher Spiritual, Meditated On, um, Blessed and Kissed by, by Spirit and <laughs> Ava. And you can just click the link below. Subscribe and you will get February and March and like that's right. Also that's twelve right. months back of all of our council cards. And if you want a taste of it, go back to February because we gave them all free to you then, and uh, you can see how they're created. And yeah, you know, we gave the we gave the January we gave the January council cards. I'm I'm just gonna well, oh, we January posted yeah we posted in February but they were January just so you guys know. Oh, I see. Oh, so um, I because I get like these little emails and people are like, hey, you said February. Well, no, it's my fault. Actually, January. Um, so all of them are there. Check it out and uh, order a private and personal reading when you get a chance. You will not be um, disappointed because these are fabulous and uh, life-altering readings. Uh, higher counsel, personal counsel from Spirit. And then, last but not least, we're going to talk a little bit about Ava's spin-off show where she's going to teach you how to be healthy. healthy. Um, which is my other incarnation. I am a health guru. Um, and I'd like to do that on YouTube. So I've created a channel called Ava's Total health and fitness solutions with a caveat with a feature the feature is the alkaline kitchen with Ava and Christina but sometimes just with Ava depending and in this kitchen I create alkaline vegan meals for you so that not only can you be beautiful on the outside but your body will be in optimal health and disease free that's what the diet promises so come and see. I'll, I'll show you how to move and how to eat. Yay. And with that said, we're going to say goodbye. We will see you in the month of April, Taurus. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Namaste. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you. All right. Lovely.